Good morning, this is Anka Metcalf with TradeOutloud.com. Welcome to our pre-market game plan for the major future indices, gold and oil for today. It is Friday, last trading day of the week. It is uh, almost quarter to nine, and let's begin with the minute down industrial average. Uh, since, uh, since its descent in yesterday's New York trading session, we have established a low at 21,960. This is going to be the support level, and we have been ranging since that point, creating a resistance high of 21,750. Um, and also, this is going to be the game plan for today. If we get a break above 21,750, we may see the price continue higher. Possible targets are going to be into the 21,800 level, uh, followed by 850,900, a huge tradable void, and this is going to be a decision point uh, as of uh, as of right now, 21,000. Uh, 21,900 is also an area of minor support that is driving from this prior pivot low, uh, which is support for current, for which represents, which is this low that represents now resistance. And at this point, the price can uh, either break above, continue its ascending pattern because we are still uptrending onto the daily pattern, uh, or it can reverse from this point, setting a new. Uh, lower high at this point and continuing lower. If the pr if the price should breach uh, the support level that has been established in the overnight trading session at the 21,700, we may see a possible correction lower into the first target is going to be uh, 21,000. 650 and the second target 21,633. Keep in mind that right now we're pretty much green on the day, slightly green, uh, uh, two points to the upside, 0.01%. And, and Dow is one of the weakest indices as of right now. The leading indice is NASDAQ. NASDAQ has created a larger bounce. You can see that it's up 0.35% on the day, 20 points so far, 20 points and a quarter as of right now, creating a new high right here at 58.26. Trading above this prior resistance high at 58.21, which means that the price may be ready to continue a little bit higher at this point. Overnight support, 57.88. Uh, we can see a break to the upside. Like I said, this is going the uh, this is going to be the area from which we will look very, very carefully to see uh, how things will be shaping up. Uh, possible corrections, and as long as this 58.20 area is going to stabilize, this can sustain a leg higher into the 58.50-ish area. So uh, we will see how uh, uh, we will see how it will trade. But actually, 58.40 and then 58.54 target levels uh, for today. Keep in mind that uh, we do have some overhead resistance uh, at 60 zone that is uh, coming from this prior area of support right here, right now resistance at this point. So this is the watch out area uh, for NASDAQ. Things can turn around here or they can consolidate and continue higher. At this point, we're trading below the 20, 200 period moving average on the hourly chart. We're just trying to, hug, so the 20 MA is trying to hug the price at this point. 5802 is going to be the line in the sand as long as this level is going, going to be uh, kept right here in the next uh, 30 to uh, 45 minutes, we may possibly see a relief rally that may come in, like I said, into the uh, into the 40, 50, 60 area. All right, let's continue with the mini S&P 500 index that right now it's up only 2.2 2 points and a quarter, 0.09% on the day, barely on the green side along with the mini Dow, same uh, same consolidation. And one thing that I wanted to mention is the fact that because we haven't had a relief rally yet, we may have one or we may not have one. And uh, the issue here is that the longer we consolidate weak at this level, uh, the more downside we can see most, uh, most possible into the 2400 level. So we may see uh, more of a run to the downside. So 
the game plan for today, obviously, is not going to be easy trading environment. Uh, 2434 over. Uh, we will look for a relief rally into the 2440, 2445, uh, and 2446. And this can be a possible turnaround or breakout area as well. Keep in mind, this can, if the price will advance into this area, we can see a turnaround, a rotation, and back to the downside. And this will be actually the second uh the second lower high from the hourly chart and also from the daily chart that can actually trigger a more aggressive sell to the downside so uh keep in mind this is a hefty support level that is coming from the daily chart it was an area that we have hovered and we have consolidated back in june and uh yesterday what price did was breach uh, the prior pullback area that happened on august 10th and we traded below 29 i'm sorry uh 24 29 flurry to the downside um creating this low right here and right now we need some commitment on one side of the other now keep in mind i don't see any aggressive bullish action going into the weekend because i don't think anybody is going to want to be invested with everything that has been geopolitical with the geopolitical aspect that have been going around so we may see the price consolidate at this level waiting for the weekend to pass and most pro possibly we may see a reaction on sunday night when the market opens after 6 a.m and going into the overnight session, London session, and coming into the New York trading session. So today, uh, we have to look for really good opportunities, and this is going to be in play. Over 34, we will see uh, for a possible continuation higher, and under these lows, we may see for possible continuations to the downside. Let's take a look at gold right here that had a huge move starting at 2 a.m., Eastern time. So once again, this week has been phenomenal for the Asian traders uh, because we've they've have had and even for the uh, not as much for the Asian traders. I'm sorry for the London traders as they have had uh, really amazing moves to the upside in the indices and also in gold. Uh, we can see the second rally that commenced right here at 2 a.m. Uh, also, we had another rally that started here at 9 a.m. Eastern time. And then overnight session here, uh, continue with the break of the 1292 level, challenging these prior highs, pull back into a minor support level, 1292, and escaping to the upside, just erasing these highs right here at 12, uh, of uh, 1296, 1300, the high, uh, very, very well uh, defined by us in um in the prior uh recordings i just want to show you that we are now trading and we are literally making uh literally making yearly highs right here with this breach of the 1299 level we're trading over 1300 right now it made a high of 1304 little above 1304 actually it was 1303.9 um, and uh, the next target is going to be 1340. So uh, it has a lot of room to run to the upside, and we will see if gold will continue its trajectory to the upside. All right, so let's move back to the hourly chart and uh, let's define here. Uh, if this area is going to consolidate, you can see that 1300 is really trying to hold support level right there. We may see another leg up. And like I said, for the day, most possibly, I would say 13, uh, uh, the technical chart suggests that uh, 1305 and possibly 1310 would, be, would create follow through to that point. All right. Uh, and let's take a look at oil. Oil has, uh, we are trading a new contract. Keep that in mind as well. Uh, trading may be a little bit choppy in today's trading session. Usually there's a fade of the move. So we're going to see how that plays out. Uh, I usually don't change, uh, don't uh, really trade on the uh, contract, uh, on the new contract date. Uh, usually moves are unexpected. However, the technical pattern suggests that there is support right here at 47.25. Uh, as long as the support level is going to be intact, uh, we can see more upside that may continue back into this prior high of 47.53, 47.80, and possibly even back into the 48, uh, $48 level. 
uh, this was back this would bring me this would mean uh, that the price may go back into uh this uh this Wednesday's high right here all right one look at bonds to uh to uh wrap up the pre-market game plan as you can see right here bonds had a really uh aggressive move and then your training session with a pullback and uh, chart wise it is looking uh it is looking better than all the other indices and actually uh commodities that are th that i'm looking at it this morning possible continuation higher into the 157.08 um and that is a long ways for it uh also overnight 2 a.m eastern time came with the best possible a setup. Um, a, this pullback occurred into a minor support level at this point. Uh, hourly buy triggered, trading above this prior high. Actually, 156 was the target. It went to 156.04. Pullback right now. Uh, the next minor support level is going to be at 155.23. And uh, we, we went 23, 24. These, these are going to be the areas is exactly where it is trading right now. As long as the price is going to remain uh, pivoting in this area, we could see a turnaround and back up to 156.04. And like I said, for today, we might even see 156.13, 156, 13, 156, uh, 156 um, uh, 20, 22 area. All right, this is all for now. Thank you so much for tuning in. For more information about our products and services, visit tradeoutloud.com. Uh, I hope you all have a great trading day today. And also, I will be back with the wrap-up for the week uh, later on today uh, in the afternoon. And also, uh, pay very close attention to the drop that we've had yesterday into the range because it's not going to be an easy day. All right, thanks so much for tuning in, and I'll see you guys for more trading ideas in our private Twitter feed.